So first of all, congratulations on having your premiere film premiere at TIFF. How does it feel? It's amazing. Yeah, it's honestly, TIFF have been so incredibly supportive, um, and especially Peter Kapowski uh, in the Midnight Madness section. We really feel like they, they're behind the film, and, you know, it's a difficult film. Um, and we're just thrilled that, that TIFF is supporting it. Yeah, and especially given COVID, we're really excited that we're actually going to have an in-person screening tonight at the Lightbox. So it will be really exciting to share this film with the Lightbox. Madeline, you're also uh, one of the TIFF Rising Stars this year. Congratulations on that. You know, I, I, as a performer um, and as a director, I put so much into this. And I really, it's a very, very personal project for both of us and for me. Um, so having the rising star as well is is incredible and it just puts that extra spotlight on the film too, which is great. Speaking a little more about that, I wanted to ask you, can you talk a bit about the importance of having this festival as a platform for local filmmakers? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we're we're Canadian filmmakers, uh, and you know, TIFF is a, a festival you kind of always aspire to play at. Um, and it's just really well regarded uh, internationally and among um, buyers and so for us it's just such a great place to premiere uh, the film it's like we couldn't have dreamed of a better better place mm -hmm. um, and it's also just exciting because uh, Toronto has a really sophisticated audience. This film is very different from how cinema traditionally frames narratives I have to say so especially revenge narratives so how did you approach the material from that unique perspective? You know, we really wanted to say something about trauma and from our personal experiences to really kind of connect with people who have been through, suffered through an act of sexual violence um, and who have experienced trauma. Um, we wanted to say something with film that was uh, visceral and that was really based in feeling rather than um, just kind of watching a story unfold. We wanted the audience to really feel the experience of the characters. Yeah, and in many ways, this is sort of an anti-revenge film. You know, in a traditional revenge film, the audience is really wanting the protagonist to get the revenge. And when they get that revenge, it's cathartic and you're cheering and you feel good for the, for the main character. And we're actually kind of taking that away from you. It's sort of like this anti-wish fulfillment in that um, we're trying to scare you <laughs> into not wanting to seek revenge because you see uh, the psychological and emotional uh, unraveling that it has on a person's character and their moral integrity. Yeah, I think we're, we're really trying to confront audiences and it's a harrowing experience. Um, it's definitely an experience as a film. Um, and it's something that some that people will who I think understand the um, the subject matter will hopefully appreciate. You guys have worked together on short films as well before, but this is the first time you're working together on a debut feature film. So can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, so we met actually at the TIFF Talent Lab in 2015, and at the time we were making short films, and we were looking for a collaborator, and we decided to join forces. Um, we had similar creative sensibilities. And so we spent the past five years together making shorts. And so we made three different shorts and that was a really kind of a good testing ground to see if we work well with each other and you know what it's like when we both uh, collaborate. Yeah, and it's, I think the themes in our shorts are similar to the themes in Violation. It's definitely power dynamics um, between men and women are very interesting to us. Um, and then like we've, we've talked about trauma as well and sexual abuse. Those have been themes that we've, we've touched on in our shorts and it's kind of culminated in, in Violation. And Madeline, you, I want to say that you've worked with, you're, you're wearing three different hats basically in this year. You've co-written, co-directed as well as starring in this. So you have this kind of creative control, but what kind of strain did it put on you as an actor? That's a really good question. And we thought about it quite early on. Um, we knew it was going to be really tough. Um, so we did a lot of prep together uh, where we would kind of discuss every element. Um, and I, I sort of had to do double duty. So we would work together during the day and then I would go off and do my own actor prep um, and put aside time for that. So I was kind of balancing these two things. And then it really just comes down to the trust that we built with each other. Um, when we got on set, I couldn't be in that director mind frame. In when I went into a scene, I had to just fully give in to the character and let it wash over me and take over me. This film is part of the Midnight Madness, and as a huge horror fan as myself, I wanted to ask you what are some of the revenge films that really inspired you, like all the horrors or thrillers that kind of influenced your work uh, behind the scenes as well as on camera. 
Yeah. There's a, we're both big fans of revenge films and there's, there's a catharsis that you get from them uh, that's very interesting. And I think we, we, thinking about the personal themes of the film, we wanted to try to explore the opposite of that catharsis and really make a film that, that delved into what would it really feel like for just a, a normal person who suffers uh, this trauma and feels like they need revenge. It's almost like they're being pulled towards it. They can't um, get it out of their minds. It's like a, like OCD almost, that they need to, to purge themselves of this in order to move on. What would that then do to them, to their morality, to their character? Um, so we wanted to, to see this woman unravel um, throughout the film. Yeah, and in terms of the visual aesthetic, it's really grounded in naturalism. Um, the most part and uh you know films like funny games and cachet where there's these really her horrific moments and, and violent moments in the film but it's at its heart it's it's a it's a drama and the, i feel like the best horror films are just dramas that are elevated because of the horrific things that happen in them and, and it kind of amplifies the, the tension and uh, your relationship to these characters yeah it's a it's something that's very sensory as well and and we hopefully create um a feeling in the audience that's that's my favorite thing about horrors is that they they have this ability to create a visceral response and we're we were really um hoping to to provoke and draw out feelings from people yeah it's definitely an experience and i hope everyone else enjoys it as well watching it tonight so congratulations and wishing you all the best for the film tonight thank, thank you, you so much, much.